Top one that resets it. Take your time, make your shots count. Nice, hit it. Excellent. Nothing fancy out in his tactical clinic, i.e., the western desert of the United States. Great place to shoot, and there's not a soul around. We got a great backstop right down range there. You can see a target set up at 33 yards. That's a laser range found distance got some spinner plates downrange too and we'll be testing this gun the excellent marlin 70 pss papoose rifle it is a takedown semi-automatic 22 and it's not something you see too often in stores like walmart maybe your sporting goods stores and other places in the united states it's actually kind of rare and that's a shame because it would suit most 22 shooters quite well once you have it put together, it's basically just like any other quality semi-automatic 22 rifle. And this will serve as my tabletop review of the Papoose rifle and also the shooting demo as well. We'll see how it does accuracy-wise. Maybe hit a few steel plates with it and uh, so it will go. I'm going to cover the specifics and while I do so, you may hear the wind kick up. I mean, heck, this is the western U.S. and we are out in the high desert. So it is what it is, and sometimes it's just going to get windy. Sorry about that. What's the features that I like most on the 70 PSS, uh, the Papoose? First off, it's lightweight, and it is extremely lightweight. Namely, like 3.5, 3.6 pounds. Look to the description for the, the total specifics on this 22 rifle. But that is extremely light. Along with that, it's very portable. That barrel nut right there unscrews, and the whole barrel of the Papoose comes off breaking down into a two-piece rifle. And once you have it into two pieces, then you can put it in this included carry case from Marlin, which is made of Cordura and has closed cell foam in it. Closed cell makes it, it float if you ever drop it overboard. And there's your nylon straps to strap the receiver portion to. The barrel itself will slide in, excuse me, will slide into the sleeve here. And the barrel wrench will slide in here. Nice portable system. One of the best I found. I think this gun, by the way, is far superior to the Charter Arms AR-7, which is also kind of a takedown survival 22 rifle. Um, by the way, if my battery dies, I'll have to join the two clips together, so I'm just going to press on. Sorry about that. But uh, this gun, contrary to the AR-7, I forget who's making it now. Is it, uh, for, uh, is it Henry Arms? Henry Arms is making that AR-7 design now, I think. Uh, they may have improved it, but years ago... That old Charter Arms AR-7 design was very unreliable. It jammed a lot. That's not the Marlin Papoose. The Marlin Papoose is very accurate, extremely reliable. I've never had a jam in this gun, ever. I mean, I'm talking in 10 years of use, I've never had it. Um, so, awesome. We'll show you that as we do the shooting demo. Um, so, compact, lightweight, and it has several other super cool features that I think are amazing at this price level. And the price level for the Papoose is very affordable. One of those features is pretty standard and that's a grooved receiver. So you can put a scope on there. You don't need a scope though because it includes some pretty good iron sights. Buckhorn in the rear and the newest models of the 70 PSS have a fluorescent insert on the front sight. So that makes for a very bright and clear sight picture which heck all the way out to 50 yards is probably going to be sufficient for a lot of users. I do prefer a four power scope on 22 rifles, generally speaking. It just makes them easier to hit with, funner, more accurate, and for survival purposes, I highly recommend it because you'll be stressed and maybe cold, maybe shivering, and iron sights, as effective as they are, it's just going to be easier with a scope to make a hit. 
This is a little four power weaver scope right here. Nothing special, but it's a quality scope. Standard duplex reticle, lightweight. Look to the description for the weight. And to keep the whole package light and portable, you can see I've used some very streamlined rings. Those are from Burris. Those are Burris 22 specific May 22 uh, long or uh, 22 rifle rings. They're uh, in gloss finish, so they don't exactly match the scope's matte finish. But you know who cares? The whole gun silver. Uh, I th I'm not really too picky about it. So this is actually a survival rifle for me in a lot of ways and actually rides in my survival kit much of the time. Occasionally it comes out and it goes for a little outing kind of like we're doing here in the desert and it serves nicely. But that Weaver scope is just perfect on this gun. It still keeps the, the package very lightweight. I'll give you a total weight here in the description, maybe annotations, but very nice. Another nice feature on the 20 on this Papoose rifle is it has a bolt hold open device. And heck, even the Ruger 1022 doesn't have that. In other words, as I fire the last shot, that magazine will catch and hold the bolt open, just like you see here. And it also has a bolt release. It's really easy. And unlike the standard Ruger 1022 release, it's not hokey. I shouldn't say hokey, but it's a very easy release. Okay, safety's on. And the range is clear. That's a nice backdrop back there. So I'll go ahead and strip a cartridge off and show you what I'm talking about. To actuate that bolt hope, uh, I'm sorry, to strip a cartridge off, you just slide this down. Bam, you're loaded. Safety's right here, standard cross bolt safety, no, nothing tricky there. The regular magazine that comes with a 22, uh, I'm sorry, the Marlin Papoose, I believe they ship with a seven round magazine. However, available from Marlin, at least they have been, are 10 round magazines and they're very affordable. I highly recommend you buying a whole bunch of those if you do get a Marlin Papoose. They're chrome plated, very durable. I kind of wish there was a higher capacity magazine available for the Papoose that was super reliable. There might be, I haven't really looked around. I did a few years ago and I never saw one. That would really make this gun even better, but very nice. Maybe a, a slight disadvantage to the Papoose design will be the lack of a stock towards the front of the barrel. Since this is a takedown pack rifle, you can see how the stock ends right here doesn't continue as normal up towards the barrel. But I generally do not find that to be in a disadvantage at all. And the standing position is easy enough to hold it right up here, kind of M4 style uh, with your UAR-15 fans. Works nice. I find the triggers crisp, reliable, and has a nice let off. Not match grade, but you don't need it for this rifle. And it's just a fast firing accurate rifle. Length of pull is for adults, so if you have kids, it might be a little bit long for them. The stock itself is fiberglass polycarbonate, very lightweight, tough, rugged, and has an integrally molded uh, trigger guard, which I don't mind at all. I do find the stock to be somewhat slick in the back, and so I put some black athletic tape here. Provide just a little bit of traction so the stock doesn't slip around on you. It is checkered, but that didn't help much. All right, join those two clips together. Battery died. I was talking about it can take a sling, too. It comes with swivel studs both in the back and the front of the rifle. And that makes it carryable like when you're in the backcountry. Of all the 22 rifles, by the way, I've backpacked with, and they've been more than a few, this is my favorite. Uh, it's just the lightest, the fastest firing, the most capable, the most accurate that I've found for backpacking. It's it. Now, it doesn't mean that every backpacking scenario can take the weight of a papoose because it's still going to be four and a half pounds, maybe more with, depending on how much ammo you bring and if you have it scoped or not. But it pretty much rocks. Um, so if you can find it, and actually it's not just for packing. If you're just looking for an all-around great 22, which maybe someday you might want to take apart and have it compact and more uh, portable, the papoose is a good option. The only thing you're really giving up is a full stock, i.e. one that continues on under the barrel. So you have a forearm to hang on to. But I personally do not find that to be a disadvantage at all. All right, so let's do some rounds uh, with the 22, this 22, the Marlin Papoose, and maybe I can demo how accurate it is. Again, I'm only going to shoot at 33 yards because that seems to be fairly convenient for this range, but that will be enough to show you what it's capable of.
All right, let's shoot some plates with this thing. Doing it mostly from the bench to show the accuracy, but it's just as accurate offhand as well. I don't know what that was. Alright, that's the Marlin Papoose. Let's go down range. We saw in the paper, see how we did. Pretty much every shot was connecting with uh, what? the plates. It did pretty good. I mean, not every shot, but just about. Now, occasionally some guy's going to say, hey, you suck. I can shoot a lot better than that. Well, if you think you can, post your video with the Papoose. Go ahead. Let's go take a look. Here's Birchwood Casey 22 Target. I love this target. These are heavy duty steel plates. You can see you flip them over when you hit them and they come on that resting bar and then when you hit this top reset target, they flip down and reset. Really nice, durable. I've had this one for years. I highly recommend it. Along with that and at a farther distance, I was shooting some of these other plates. I think these are also Birchwood Casey. Not sure though heavy steel plates and I keep them spray painted with fluorescent color so they can be seen and this plate sitting at about 25 yards somewhat occluded by uh, sagebrush there All right, rapid fire in the Marlin Papoose Marlin Papoose 22 pack rifle taken down. You can kind of see it in its component form, the barrel and the receiver. Along with the scope, I went ahead and retrieved and cut out the targets. These are the targets I was shooting at at 33 yards from this plastic bench out here in the desert a couple hours ago. Shot some other rifles too. But there's the results right there. 10 rounds, by the way, not just three or five. And so it shows a better representation of the rifle, I think, when you fire 10 rounds. It's easy to, you know, I could have stopped right here and it would have been a sub-inch group. Those are my first rounds I fired, kept going. This one's probably the furthest one out. Here's the second group, about the same. Pretty tight, actually. I'm pretty pleased with it. About an inch group with a couple fires right here. And keep in mind, that's this ammo here, this crap federal ammo that I bought at Walmart. It's not really good ammo, to be honest with you. And that bobble you saw earlier with the Marlin Papoose was this round right here, which failed to ignite.
you can see it how it has a primer strike on it dented and did not ignite I see that a lot with this federal ammo not the most accurate not the most reliable but you know what price is right allows me to shoot more so for just practice I don't mind it by the way a couple guys may see this go you know what you suck I could shoot a lot better than that well dude go ahead come on out to your desert grab your 22 papoose and uh put your money where your mouth is so not as easy as it looks anyways by the way this is more to show the capability of the rifle than my capabilities that's the whole purpose reviewing this rifle for for prospective buyers by the way this is a great survival rifle one that would stow nicely in a truck a boat survival kit of some sort and i would prefer it over a lot of other rifles and there's a lot to be said for 22s because ammo is so lightweight you know you can take a lot of rounds of 22 versus even 223 and within 50 yards a 22 is nothing to be trifled, trifled with, both for getting small game. Heck, even deer with a headshot can be taken with a 22 long rifle. Uh, I know that for a fact. Uh, can be done. I didn't do it, but I know friends that have. A long time ago. Anyways, that's a Marlin Papoose. That's a review. It's outstanding, lightweight, compact, reliable, and fast firing. Nothing fancy. Signing off from his tactical clinic out in the western desert as the sun comes down let me shield the sun here just a beautiful night out here the wind finally died down thanks for watching